Hi, it's Miranda. You remember that period of time, a couple years ago or so, or so, when a bunch of YouTubers were recreating Bob Ross paintings, various ways? Ooh. What better time to do that than now when everything is so, so fun? Except uh, since I'm not going to buy paint or anything, I thought I'd do it a little differently. So Bob Ross, there's usually a black background, right? And um, he's got a nice easel. I don't have an easel. So I drew one. I also don't have a paint palette. So I drew one. Um, I picked out a video, happened to be season 12, and uh, I liked the way it looked because it had a lot of the features that I'm used to having grown up with, with Bob Ross, the mountains, the trees, the whole thing. I kind of had to have something that had those things. So I looked at the colors that were listed on the video. I tried to get the hex code for all of them and match them as close as I could. So there's that. Um, but you know, you need a canvas. And um, once I hit the canvas, that's it. So I'm giving myself a little leeway because I don't know how these brushes and stuff, I don't know how they behave. I haven't really used this program very much. Just to be on the safe side, I'm giving myself a little one of those. Okay, so, so now all we really need is Bob. Hi, I'm glad you could join me today. You ready to do another fantastic little painting? Hope you have your easel out and your paints all spread out and a big glass of iced tea and you're ready. Tell you what, let's start and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with me. I thought we'd do a happy little painting today. I'm going to start, oh, let's t take a little touch of yellow ochre. Maybe, maybe we'll have a nice bright little spot up here in the sky. Okay, now what I have is this big brush. And I have some cad yellow and some yellow ochre. We're just going to do a little, little yellow ochre over here. Just whatever. Take a little, take a little cad yellow. Put that, a little of that in there. Yeah, I don't know about this already. The colors look very different on screen. I'm not using paint. Should I blend? Maybe I should blend. Hold that, hold that. Is that okay? Blending? Blending? Is that okay? Blending? Blending is okay? Sorry. Right. Now it looks like I'm hip cross, hip cross, hip, hip cross, hip cross. Close, you know, close enough. I'm sure, I'm sure this is going to look fine by the end of it, you know with all the stuff on there. Little painting today. What a happy painting. A Is he doing the whole talk? Good day. Let's make a painting that, that reflects that. We have a good amount though. Similar enough, I think we'll keep going. Shake out the excess. Shaking it, shaking it. <laughs> and beat the devil out of it. Beating the devil out of okay. my mouth. I'm take alizarin crimson. Just go into a touch of a lizard and crimson. Lizard and crimson. Over here, be right back. Still using little crisscross strokes. A little, a little a lizard and crimson blue. with, blue with the now. brush, blue. though. Blue. Oh, that's... I might regret this. Just... Oh boy. It's a, a little lighter than I expected. I guess if I layer it, if I layer it will be fine. Just put some purple. Put it. Put the purple. Layer it. Layer it. It's gonna look a little different than his. A little bit. I think that looks pretty. That that looks pretty close. But I think we need to get a little bit more of the pinkish in there. A little bit more of that in there. There you go. There you. Go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where he's taking us, and I'm just going. It'll go right over the top of it, but be careful. Be careful. It'll eat up all your book, your bright spot here. Okay, so maybe I should blend. So we're gonna do that. 
I'm gonna go wherever I want this to go. I'm just gonna just do a little. Oh, wait. Mmm. Is this a good blender brush? Is it too blurry? Is it too blurry? What if I do this? Is this better? Does it do it? Does it do anything right if I do that? Whatever, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Happy little sky. Happy little sky. Maybe uh, maybe if I use this. Ooh. That kind of looks better. It looks, it looks a little better. It looks a little more like it looks a little more. That's fine. Let's just do that. Let's do that. A little bit more of that. Let's do a little of that. Maybe I should get more of those other colors in there. Since I'm not using real oils, I can get away with it. A little bit of yellow here. A little bit of the ochre. Let's blend it all. Well, it's, got, it's got some interesting round effect that I wasn't expecting, but you know, whatever. Now I have this old brush dirty. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take a little bit of crimson and put it right here. A little, little warm spot. Yeah. Well, uh, one of these has like a multiple color situation going on. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. Maybe the blending is not going to be perfect. That's okay. This will be the unblended version. He's, he's doing something interesting, though. He's like, let's go here. Let's take a little bit of, of the crimson. Let's go back in that crimson. Ooh, put a little bit of crimson. Oh, let's, I might do a little bit more crimson than I meant to do. Perfect like situation. A little more of that. A little more. A little more of this bluish, bluish purple. One more of that, one more of that, a little bit. There we go. I don't know. Same old brush. I'm gonna go right back into some phthalo blue. More phthalo blue? I have some water in this painting today, I think. I like water. I'm glad you're going right into the water. That makes me very happy, actually. We're just gonna go right into the water. And then I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna. This isn't. Maybe I gotta put it a little bit smaller and. So that way when it layers, it's ooh, so much darker and not quite as blue as I was hoping for. Ugh. What, did I, what have I done? What have, what have I done? There we go. Looks like that's what I have to do to get it to look like that. Okay. Just to get a little of this texture in here. Everywhere. Just put it everywhere, all right? Anything that you don't want would cover up with bushes or trees or land or whatever happens. Get another nice clean two-inch brush. I'm gonna blend these colors together. Hmm, I don't want to blend too much. How do I do this? Maybe if I do it like Start in the this. light area and work toward the dark area. Yeah. If you start the dark area and work toward the light area, it's going to consume this entire light area. We don't want to lose that. That's, Let's build, mm -hmm. let's build us a little mountain today. For that, I'll take a little midnight black, a little midnight black, a little Prussian blue, and just cut across so you have a little little paint right on the edge of the room. Now then, let's come right up in here and decide where you want your mountain to live. Maybe, maybe your mountain doesn't. I feel like that's good. But what I have to do is get the color now. So let's get some Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to know very... And all we're doing Oh, away from me. Basic shape, and you're only worried about the nice outside edge. You could care less what's happening on the inside. All we're doing is just, just getting our outside shape laid in. That's all right there. Well, this knife is not really what I was expecting. Literally, no. not quite as easy to make a mountain with this as I thought it would be. That's all I'm gonna say. Also, I think I need a little bit of that blue. Make some fantastic mountains. Can't do it the way I was doing it. It's not working out so great that way. So I think what I need to do is just go in there normally with something like this. Make like some blobs. Just make like most of the most of the thing I want. Okay. Got that blender palette. 
He's not even going that far down, and I'm just ruining everything. Okay, so he went in with a little bit of, uh, what was that? I gotta rewind. Least little touch of bright red. All right. So strong. It's very strong. Pull the paint out, just like before. As flat as you can get it. As flat get as I can get it. Have that little roll of paint. Right small, little, okay. small little, small little thing. Start making some big decisions here. Making big decisions. So, just sort of look at your mountain and decide where you want these things to live. Touch imaginable. Yeah, I kind of have to use the same pressure on everything here, Bob. It's not really working out, Bob. Tell you what you do. Yeah. A bit of white. Oh boy. Mix up a color. Oh, like so. Now take a little bit of that, and I'm just going to sort of just lay it here and there. Oh, jeez. Make it look creeping down the mountain. In Alaska, in Alaska, they say the hawk is coming. The what? The hawk is coming. Every day. I used to watch the mountains and cold. Like this. There. Is that what you mean? Lighter, not lighter, doing darker. See? Exactly darker, what I was hoping lighter, for, but I'm lighter. attempting to make it look like something. So now we can take different values of blue here. Without undoing all the time. All kinds of just little Ooh. shadow areas. Love what you're doing, but I just can't seem to create these effects here. A wild, wild life. To just sort of make up little stories. We're just gonna make up stories as we go here. These little things just happen in your mind. These things just happen. That's what makes it fun. That's what, that right? I agree there, Bob. I think actually this is probably the nicest one of all of them. Maybe I gotta do it. I'm doing like a red, white, and blue mountain. I'm not even trying to do that. Trying to do what we want it to do there. And over here, all of these angles. See, we can bring it all together. I'll take, we'll use that same old mountain color, blue and black. Van Dyke brown. Oh, some crimson. But we'll just start with it. Tap a little color into it. And maybe it lives right here. Some little trees. You can do anything. And I'm going to have that color on the brush. Throw a little bit right in there. It's gonna take me a little bit. So. Oh, that looks like his brush. That looks more like his brush. Okay, that's good. I'll do this. Okay. All right. And then he said instant reflection. Instant reflection. Sure. Break. didn't quite work the way I was hoping. Maybe I have to pull down first. Right? Because he pulls down. He's like, pull down. He pull it down. You just pull it down to make your little reflection. Okay, um, so now I have this. Can I just make this a lot bigger? And just do one of those kind of things. Instant reflection. I mean, it, it kind of, it kind of, kind of. Black and yellow makes a beautiful green. Make the highlights. Okay, cool. All right, this will, this works for me. All right, let's get a little bit of that yellow. All you're doing is just tapping. And pay attention to shape and to form. Let's create a little land here. All you're gonna do is just begin tapping, but follow the lay of the land. If you want the land to look like it flows this way, the way you can do it, you can do it. And color right into the water. And into the water. I'm going to take a little touch of liquid white. Put it on the palette. It gives us just a happy little waterline. And we'll put a ripple or two here. And, and, and a little bit of dark sienna. Alright. Make a tree. What's a good thing that you to use to make a tree? Not the Weave in here. Okay, and we're gonna just make ourselves a. We're gonna have to do it just a little differently than he does, that's all. Another little tree. Uh, it's raining. Yeah, 
bring it out. Yeah, I do. Yeah, add a little, add a little of the yellow ochre, a little more, right on the same brush. I don't know what just happened there. I must have turned my head. Here. Is it something weird? Just a little light area. Oh, I never got to do the water line. There you go. And another one here. Wherever, wherever. Maybe there's a little finesse that comes out there. Okay, just working on the water line real just quick here. Make up little ideas in your mind. You can drop them in. I can place here. I just bring this right down across. Right, right across. Just blocking. Just blocking it all. In. Just blocking it in. Just all kinds of little things here. Where do you want them? I'm making them wherever I want them. And they put the indication of a, a little tree limb or two. Just wherever you think. Most of these will be covered up, but a few of them will show through. And it makes it like happy little, little tree trunks. Little, bit, little tree trunks. Oh, geez, you're already going highlights. Okay. Yeah, just shine up here. Let's take a little bit of that color. That painter's on the show. In my opinion, it's lived in the last century by the name of Ben Stahl. And we were blessed with the fact that Ben came here and, and he painted with me, which was truly an honor to paint with a man of, of such a caliber. By the way, if I look different every time you see me, it's because I've had to chop this up quite a bit, unfortunately. I wish I didn't have to, but somebody's been sick in the house twice in a row, so... It's okay. Like that? Yeah, that's better. Oh, a little more than I meant. Okay. Oh, look at that. Well, that looks that 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 doesn't look anything like what I'm about to say. It looks just looks a lot looks close. It does not look close. Oops. A little bit of that, a little, a little bit here, a little there. Oh, I definitely, I definitely have to change up the brush here somehow. I gotta do something. I just realized, perfect shot to pause it on too. I just realized that I did not highlight my trunks because I didn't pause and then I was trying to catch up. I know this might look really awkward now, but I will put the leaves over it and it'll look okay again. Working, kind of. Taking, it's taking a little while. I hope nobody minds. All right. Um, these are so much lighter. What did I do? How did I? Why did I do that? Okay, just, just to attempt to make this have a, a little bit more. I'm just not doing like him. I'm not not very good at this. Great. Alright, let's get a little bit more of this, this, this ochre. Do 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 I think this this is looking a little bit a little bit better. These are these are happy trees. Look at these nice things. They live in my world. They're pretty nice. There. Let's grab, let's grab it. Let's make it a little lighter, though. Just, just. Big old strong tree. Throw it, throw it in our world a little bit. That's all. Okay. All the happy things that live in our world. Very quick. Oh, oh, I have to pause. Oh, I have to pause. He's doing the rocks I was telling you about. Or is that the shoreline? A little water line. A little water line, little rocks. So first he did the black. Then he did a little bit of the pink and red. Here's my brush. And... No, the, ang the, angle's, the angle's fine. The angle's fine. We're just going to put... Just going to carefully... Just carefully... Yeah. We want to do all these... All these nice little things that live in our little world. We're going to just do a bunch of them down here because I don't know what else to do down here. Dark rocks. I forgot about this tool because I don't care for the edges on it when you got a, a white screen. But in this case, it works just the way I need those with some rocks. Smaller, we're going to just see if that works. Oh, well, it does. It works. It works a little bit. It works a little bit. All these happy little things that live in my world. So pink. My little world. These rocks are very pink. 
All right, um, so I'm, I'm catching up. Nice. Done. Tell you what, I'm gonna call that one finished. And from all of us here, happy painting. He's he's finished. Bless. Thank you, thank you, Bob. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed this. This is my attempt at a Bob Ross tutorial. Something that I wouldn't have minded doing when everybody was doing it a few years ago, but um, I just thought of this now when I got this, this program and I played around with it. So this was a way I could do it. And again, I hope you enjoyed it.